You want to get the most FPS possible out of Minecraft 1.19 and in this video we're going to show you exactly how to do that. We're going to go over every single step and thing that you can do to optimize Minecraft including how to use sodium to get the most FPS possible. Sodium is a mod for Minecraft that literally boost FPS. That's what it does. It optimizes Minecraft to make it perform better. You may have heard of Optifine. That's a good way to optimize Minecraft as well, but Sodium has done it even better, literally quadrupling FPS even on lower end computers. So that's why we're now doing Sodium instead of Optifine. With that being said though, we uh, kind of need to come back in here. We need to come back into Minecraft and get a base reading of what our FPS is. So let's just jump into Minecraft 1.19 here. We will pull up FN F3 and that's going to show us our FPS in the top left. Now, I have a very good PC. I do, right? And that means I'm going to get a higher FPS even in vanilla Minecraft. But walking around in vanilla Minecraft with 4 gigabytes of RAM dedicated to it, you can see I'm dropping under 100 FPS, dropping down as low as 70 FPS at times. So keep that in mind. We're, uh, when standing still, going up to around 170, but dropping down to even 60 FPS, 70 FPS occasionally. So we've got that. Let's write it down. Get your base FPS number as well when you get started because, well, it's important. So low is 70 and I would say the high is 190. So high FPS is 190. It's going to blow your mind what's possible with sodium. Now, you will need to install the sodium mod, right? And we have an in-depth guide on how to download and install sodium in the description down below. It's the second link down below, and this takes you through everything you need to know, including installing fabric, because sodium does require the fabric mod loader. However, before we get into optimizing Minecraft with sodium and all that stuff, we do have a miss our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love and trust Apex so much that we all start our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them, so be sure to go check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Now here we are in the Minecraft launcher, and this is actually where our optimizations for Minecraft start. Let's go on installations here, and then we have this, Sodium Fabric 1.19. Basically, it's our Fabric 1.19 installation with sodium installed on it, right? So let's go ahead and click on the three dots on the right hand side of our sodium version and click on edit. Then we want to talk about resolution. The higher your resolution is, the more lag you're going to have, right? So if you click on this little button and you go 800 by 600, you're going to have less lag than you will have at 2560 by 1440, right? However, I'm going to leave it at 1080p because that's going to be the best for this video. But should you want to lower your resolution, that will increase your performance. On top of that, we want to go ahead and click on more options and scroll down. And right here is JVM arguments. This is where you can see how much RAM is dedicated to Minecraft. And we have an in-depth guide on RAM in the description down below, but I'm going to go ahead and up this to 4G or 4 gigabytes dedicated to Minecraft. Again, check the description down below for our in-depth RAM guide. That shows you the max amount of RAM you can add for your specific computer and all of that. But as a general rule, 4 gigabytes is plenty for vanilla Minecraft. 2 gigabytes is fine, so you don't even have to change that, but it is a way to squeak a few more FPS out of Minecraft. Finally, we can click save. Let's go ahead and play Minecraft 1.19 with Sodium. And here we are, we are in Minecraft. You can see fabric in the bottom left, and uh, if you go to options, video settings, you'll see Sodium is definitely installed. But before we do that, let's go into options, resource packs, and you want to make sure that any resource packs you have are removed, right? You'll have the fabric mods, but other than that, you don't want anything else. Fabric mods is actually sodium working in game. However, everything else needs to be over here and available. Now, you can add back in resource packs later on, but the goal of this video is to get the most FPS possible, and resource packs will hurt your FPS. So I recommend moving them all to available except fabric mods and default. And like I said, you can add them back later. If you're getting excess FPS, let's say you only want 60 FPS, but you're getting 100 FPS, you can add your resource pack back in. And if it drops your FPS 10, that's perfectly fine because you're still getting 90 when your goal is 60. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click done and go into video settings. So this is really where the magic happens with sodium. One of the cool things about sodium is similar to Optifine, you can hover over these and it will tell you what the performance impact is and what each one of them does. Now, like I said, our goal is to get the most performance possible out of Minecraft, so we're turning everything all the way down. That includes render distance, simulation distance, brightness doesn't matter. It's, uh, you know, kind of up to you. GUI scale, in theory, 
a, uh, a lower GUI scale is going to be best for you, but we're going to leave it where it is so you can actually see. Full screen. Make sure full screen is turned off. That's going to blow your FPS all out of whack. So turn off full screen. Control your basically size of Minecraft from the launcher like we did with 1080p earlier, and you're going to be good there. VSync. I would recommend turning this off if you want to get a ton of FPS because this is going to limit your FPS to whatever the max FPS on your monitor is. You might be able to get smoother Minecraft if you do this, but I would recommend leaving it off for the max FPS. As far as max frame rate, turn it all the way up to unlimited again to get the most FPS. View bobbing doesn't affect performance, neither does attack indicator or auto save indicator. You can leave those however you want. For quality, everything in here needs to be turned down to fast or it needs to be turned off. So graphics are turned to fast, clouds are turned to off, and you kind of get the idea. Everything else is turned to fast or off. Some stuff, for example, weather, uh, isn't going to have as much effect on a server. For example, turning it off is not possible on a server. Things like that. Particles, these need to be turned down to minimal. Minimal is going to be the lowest particles you can get. Smooth light needs to be turned off. Biome blend needs to be turned off. Entity distance needs to be turned all the way down, right like so, 250. Entity shadows turned off. Vignette doesn't really hurt performance much, but I kind of like it off. Map levels need to be turned to zero as well. Performance and chunk updates. In theory, you can get more quality if you turn this up, but you're going to get more FPS, leaving it at zero. So if you want more stability, turn this up a little bit, maybe, you know, five or something like that. But uh, we're going to leave it at zero for best FPS. That's the goal here, right? For always defer chunk updates, one thing that's worth noting here, as you can see, if enabled, rendering will wait for chunk updates to finish, even if they are important. This can greatly improve frame rate scenarios, but may cause significant visual lag. So if you're getting some visual lag in game, turn this off, but we want frame rate, right? So we're going to turn it on. Use face block culling. We're going to turn that as was fog oscillation, entity culling, particle culling, particle culling, excuse me, and animated only visual textures. All of these are going to be turned on, right? It's going to boost FPS as much as possible. Should you have any like weird holes in blocks or something though, you might want to turn this one off. Last but not least, we have advanced chunk allocator. Async is going to be the fastest. It's going to be the best to go for. But if you do want to do a swap, you can, but that's going to increase your RAM usage. Persistent mapping. This is going to increase FPS more by basically reducing your FPS or your CPU load, excuse me. And then a render, I would recommend leaving this at about three as very low or high values, as it says over here, can cause kind of issues, right? Can cause some really weird stuff. So we don't want that. Allow direct access to memory. We want to allow that as well by checking it. Now we can go ahead and click apply in the bottom right. We'll reload Minecraft with all of these settings. And now let's jump right back into Minecraft 1.19, right like so. And you're going to be blown blown away by the FPS. So let's remember, I wrote it down, low 70, high 190 before, right? We'll call it 200 even on the high end. Now, as you can see, we can't see far around us, but if we hit FN and F3, our FPS, you saw it there, it was four figures. There it is, over 1,000 FPS when standing still. As we move around, it's not going to change much. It's still going to be well over that high end of 190 FPS, well over 1,000 FPS. Now, as I said, you can come back in here and change your settings around a bit. For example, I hate this render distance. So I'm going to turn this back up to 19, click apply, click done, come back in game here, and it's going to actually load some stuff around us. Now, that's going to drop my FPS a decent amount but it's still higher than it was before. Over 600 FPS is possible, over 300, 400 FPS while we are moving around. Absolutely crazy what is possible with sodium. And that's why we're not recommending sodium for higher FPS in Minecraft over Optifine, right? Look at that, over 500 FPS with 18 render distance. Absolutely insane. One more thing I want to do. I'm going to see what happens when we turn on smooth or fancy graphics and smooth lighting. So we turn both of those on, come back in game, and we're still getting over 400, 500 FPS. Amazing, amazing. We were touching 700 FPS there when we were standing still. And again, that's why we're recommending sodium now. So thank you so much for watching. I love seeing these results. Post your results in the description. Are you breaking 1,000 FPS? Could you break, you know, two FPS before, but now you're doing 60, 30 FPS is playable in Minecraft. That's all you need. So nevertheless, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content, and we'll see you in the next one.